Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio, and in this particular demo, we're gonna touch something just a little bit different, and that is with an animation, there's an area where you can trigger an animation event. So it's allowing you to use the timing of your animation to then trigger something else within a script or within a Playmaker FSM to then do something. So in the case of this, we're gonna actually have a character that fires two weapons. We're gonna trigger a sound specifically when the blaster fires. Then we're also gonna set up just a little mini sound manager. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's go. So here we are in Unity. And what I wanna do is I wanna talk about setting up an animation. And in that animation, I wanna set up an animation event. So one of the cool things is that we can use animation events so events within our animation to trigger other things within our game. An instance of this would be that I want to have a sound happen when the character here is firing the gun. And then I'm also wanting to have a, uh, maybe a light show up and have that animate. So, but I wanna have that specifically set up so that it triggers with the animation. Okay, so that's where animation events come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a empty game object and we'll call this uh, game manager. And then inside of that, I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a sound manager. So with my Playmaker editor up, I want to go ahead and create a, an FSM. So at FSM, and I'm just gonna leave the start state alone. So we'll just call this start. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add a new event and we'll just call this blaster. All right. And then with that, in my FSM, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set up a global transition. I'm gonna right click or control click as opposed to add state, I'm gonna add a global transition. So this is going to allow me to get to this action or this state um, from anywhere else, okay? So I'm gonna add global transition, and here's my, my event that I set up, which is blaster. I'm gonna go ahead and just call my state blaster as well. All right, so I have that set up, and of course I want to be able to play a sound whenever blaster is called. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's uh, open up our actions palette real quick. And I always like to have this docked over here. And we'll go ahead and play sound. We want to go ahead and add play sound. And so I have play sound on there. It's saying, hey, what clip do you wanna play? Well, I wanna play this sci-fi blaster sound. So I'm gonna drop that in. There we go. So I wanna call from my animation to my blaster sound. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to my, my character here. I'm gonna go ahead and add an FSM here. And while I'm, I'm gonna set this up just like I set up my sound manager. I'm just gonna leave this default state. Uh, you might have something going on with this, but just for demo purposes, I'm gonna just leave this as a blank state. So we'll just call it start. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a new event. And we'll call this trigger blaster sound. And uh, I'm gonna do the same thing as I want to set up a global transition here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add global transition, trigger blaster sound, and we'll paste that in there, trigger blaster sound. And now what, what it is that we wanna do? Well, we want to set up that anytime the uh, blaster sound has been called to, we need to go over to our sound manager and then play that sound, okay? So I'm gonna, do a send event by name. So this is gonna allow me to, to talk from one FSM to another FSM. So we'll go uh, send event by name. I have it in here as my recent. So you can see that or you can type it in send event by name. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that. So I wanna talk from my, my parent object here and I wanna be able to talk to another specific game object. So here I'm gonna talk to my sound manager and then what event is it that we want to play? So if we go back to our sound manager, we have an event of blaster. So that's the event that we're gonna to call to. So in my sound manager, find a event 
called blaster. All right. Okay, so we have that set up. So if we go to the blaster, trigger blaster sound, that action is going to talk to our other FSM and go to that blaster sound and that blaster sound is gonna play. All right, so that doesn't get us where our animation is though. So if we go back into our, our character, uh, I have just the default state as attack and there's a blaster and a blaster, boom, boom, okay? So each time the blaster is fired, boom, right there, I want to trigger that sound, okay? So what I'm gonna do is for me to set up a, an animation event, I need to uh, just within the gray bar that's right above the keyframes here, I can right click and add animation event. So I can time some type of event in my game based off of the very specific point in time within this animation. So let's see here. So I know that I want the blaster sound to be right there because that's kind of like when the girl fires. Boom, right there. Yep, so that's that's where I want one to be. And then I'm also going to have another one right there. So let's go ahead and set up an add, add animation event. Okay, so we have these two kind of like little bookmarks where those events are within our game. So I have a nice big long list of options. So there's a bun bunch of different options here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna send event and it's a string. So it's really looking for the name of in our character here. So the Playmaker FSM that's attached, it's looking for this name right here, trigger blaster sound, okay? So let's go back to our animation and right here, what we're gonna do is to type in that string, send our trigger blaster sound, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing here because we wanna use that same sound again as well. So we're gonna send event string and then we'll paste in that event. So hopefully when I play this, it's going to have the uh, animation talk to Playmaker and it's going to talk specifically to this event called Trigger Blaster Sound. This event is going to go over to our sound manager and then play the blaster sound. So let's get this to test and see if it works. And of course this animation doesn't loop, so let's go ahead and just make this loop to make it a little more exciting. And we'll add loop time to this animation. And let's go ahead and get this to play again. So there we go, we've called a Playmaker FSM uh, state from the animation to allow us to trigger specific events within our animation. So let's go ahead and just one more thing, let's go ahead and just add a light and we'll add that to the just the scene. So let's go ahead and just add a point light and we'll have that just be kind of in front of the character. So every time a blaster fires, we want to be able to have kind of like this light kind of show up. Okay. So if the character's static, we can have that set up. So let's go to our point light and let's change the color just a little bit. Kind of go more of this pinky color, purpley. Increase the color value here. Yeah, I think that works. And let's just go ahead and increase the intensity slightly maybe. Yeah, I'm digging that. Cool, so we have that set up. And now what we can do is uh, I can also set up a, another manager to handle doing the light, but I'm just gonna add it to my sound manager just because we have an action set up specifically for the blaster. And let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just activate game object. Activate game object. And what we're gonna do is to activate a specific game object and we're gonna activate this point light. So if we're gonna activate it here, we also need to have it deactivated in our scene. So I'll deactivate it so you can see it's turned off. Here it's turned on. All right, so we'll go ahead and um, when we, trigger that event that's playing our, blast, our blaster sound, we're going to activate our game object as well. And then we need to wait for just a short period of time and then deactivate it. So let's go ahead and just add another state here real quick. Let 
and we'll add a finish transition to go over to weight. Let's add a short weight real quick. And in this weight, I'll just make it maybe 0.3 seconds and we'll do a finished event and we don't have that finished event. So we just added it. Let's add one more state in here. Let's turn light off. And I will copy this same activate game object. So we'll just copy that and paste that into turn light off. We'll go from finished to turn light off, add another finished transition here, then go back to start. So let's deactivate it. And now let's give this a test. There we go. Hey, hopefully you learned something new in this particular tutorial. So we learned how to use animation events, so specific triggers within our animation to call a script or to call a Playmaker FSM from that particular point in time of the animation. Please share these tutorials. And if you don't mind, hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace. Thank you.